All right, started day 96, and I'm uh, just getting on my tent right now. It's like 7:15. Slept in for a couple hours because I only have like eight and a half miles to do today. So. And only the restaurants at the town I'm going to uh, open at 11, so there's no real point of getting there early. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the plan is. Get to uh, Grundy Center, I think that's the name of the town. Eat, and then go to my hotel. Yeah. And uh, relax for a good, uh, for a better part of a day, like 20, 23 hours. So, um, yeah, so in the town after that, that uh, has my uh, package, is about 14 or so miles away, and there's a shelter right before that town. Uh, this county is actually pretty nice to, uh, to hikers, <laughs> through hikers anyways. So, where they actually, uh, yeah, accommodate us, uh, which is going to be good because it's going to start thunderstorming tomorrow night. So, I'll stay in that shelter, that'll be perfect, and uh, yeah, and it's supposed to rain the next day too, but uh, let's hope that most of it comes during the night when I'm in the shelter. But yeah, all I have to do is pack up my tent. All right, later. All right, so as I pass the, uh, the park, I was going to stay that last night. Uh, well, this, this trail is called the Pioneer Trail. It goes from Rhinebeck to Grundy. And farther on, but uh, the Grundy Center, I turn south. As going west too long on this trail, I guess it's verboten. But uh, <laughs> uh yeah, uh, but um, that's yeah, a nice trail. And during the during the morning, yeah, you get you get cover from the sun, so that's nice too. And I uh, should be done. For the afternoon, hopefully. Alright, later. Okay, passing by like the 20 house town of uh, Morrison on the Pioneer Trail. Better picture of it. Yeah, uh, not that much here at all. <laughs> But yeah, this is like the only real town that I'm passing by today. Well, other than Grundy. But yeah. So, uh, yeah, this Pioneer Trail, at least uh, the part that um, American Server Discovery Trail goes along, it's only about, about nine miles long. So, but it's still appreciated, or else I'd have to be walking on the, well, basically the same road I was on yesterday but it's it's now a busy uh, highway so yep this is appreciated All right later yep I'm at the CE Shurn Memorial Park basically it is had does have a bathroom but of course the pump is missing the handle because why have it be useful uh, but there is a shelter so we're gonna sit. So I'm gonna sit. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for like a half hour because I don't need to go anywhere fast. I might as well relax. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's enough for right now. Yeah, this would be a good spot if uh, you're caught in a storm or something. You could probably move this table out and sit up, sit up there if you have to. Yeah. All right. Later. Okay, about a mile away from Grundy, maybe a little bit more than that. Trail splits, this goes back to the road. I can follow the road in, or I like the Discovery Trail actually goes along this, though. So let's hope that this is sort of maintained. Kind of looks like it. Now it's just grass.
Now this is a green tunnel, right? Where it's everything is green. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not uh, wet right now, or else my shoes would all soak. But it's fine. And it seems to just to be short grass. So, yeah. But I'm almost done for the day, and it's like it's 11 o'clock right now. So hopefully I can get done before it gets too hot. And I can. Just relax. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Alright, later. Yeah, so never mind. Uh, well, the trail used to go. It's completely overgrown. And I think on purpose, too. So, I'm trying to find my way back to the road. Guess I can go through there. That goes back over there. So. Yep, long grass it is. Annoying, that's for sure. Alright, All right, made it to Grundy Center. Soccer game's going on. And yeah, seems pretty busy. This is part. But yeah, this is the represents, so well, I got about a mile left to the hotel. It's on the other side of town. And nice easy day. Okay, made it. <laughs> At uh, about 12.45 after taking my time. I can relax for the rest of the day and storm tomorrow is not gonna happen until like 7 p.m. so I can so I have enough time to relax here. Until, uh, until they kick me out. All right, later. Okay, another week, another hotel stay. So, they all look the same to me. But as long as they have a bed, shower, and laundry, that's all I really need. And air conditioning. It's not getting hot enough where air conditioning is uh, starting to get important. Uh, I think today was one of the hottest days yet, or it's going to be. It's going to be around 88 degrees, so I'm glad I missed out on that. Uh, to try to do a full day in that. Um, tomorrow, it's going to be thunderstorms, but not till, at least according to weather.com so far, not till 7 p.m. So I should be able to make it to the shelter next to the, I forget what the town's name is, but next to where I'm getting my uh, next package tomorrow, uh, two days from now. So that's me going slow for the next few, these next two days. All right, later. Okay, I'm still in the hotel room. I'm in room right now. <laughs> I figured I would show you at least once what it does, what I do for laundry. Basically, I got this at the Dollar General for a dollar. So that's actually pretty cool. And it costs $1.25 for that and $1.25 for that. So it's, actually, this is a pretty cheap place, actually. Usually, it costs around 5 bucks for a laundry room. So I got all my clothes, which are mostly dirty, in here. I use this as my pillow. And whatever clothes I'm not wearing at the time goes in there. And it all goes in. Yep. Exciting stuff. Yeah, I won't show you the whole thing, but this is what all I basically need for clean clothes. All right, later. Okay, end of day uh, 96. Um, I'm about to get some more sleep in uh, after doing my laundry. And, uh, yeah, it is great. It's going to be great. It is great. Uh, <laughs> all the, all the, uh, permutations of that word. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm only about eight and a half miles done today and 13 and a half tomorrow. So it's a real narrow in, narrow out. This is how you maximize your, um, your hotel stay. So you get as much out of it as you can for your money and uh, get as much recharging going for your body without having to do two nights. And so, yeah, that's, this is how you do it. Um, yeah. Uh, day 96, uh, May 18th. Onward and to sleep. All right, later.